Scotland was the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution, with coal fields across the country and Scottish chemist James Paraffin Young's research instrumental in the development of the oil industry. The fossil fuel industry in Scotland has been both a blessing and a curse. It brought jobs and wealth, but also health and environmental impacts. There was devastating social upheaval when deep coal mines across the country closed. My name is Donald Campbell. I'm a member of Concurrent Community Council and I've worked in the mining industry locally for 28 years. Uh, the benefits to the community from mining was predominantly the jobs, both in the industry directly and in the support industries and the hospitality industry in the area. Uh, the problems with the mining industry, of course, is the uh, industrial diseases that most of the miners ended up with, uh, uh, injuries, e even the, the deaths. Uh, Burning fossil fuels here in Scotland has also contributed significantly to global warming and the climate crisis we are now facing. That's why the demolition of Kilkenzie and the closure of Longanet power station in 2016 is a hugely symbolic moment, marking the end of coal-fired power generation in Scotland after 115 years. But the Scottish economy remains heavily dependent on North Sea oil and gas. Fossil fuels are the key driver of climate change and its already devastating impacts around the world. In Scotland, we've benefited hugely from decades of burning fossil fuels, meanwhile polluting the atmosphere at the same time. Countries who've done the least to cause the problem of climate change are also those who are going to suffer most from its impacts. That's why we have a responsibility to act now here in Scotland. Donald is part of the community that has made a submission to the task force who are planning what to do with the Longanet site. With the closure of the, the sites here, the, the community would like to have an innovative renewable energy park as the main part of the, 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 the use of the site and hopefully use the ex-mining area uh, as a source of geothermal energy to provide us with uh, heat for food production. The, the other thing we are also looking at is the railway has been used to feed coal to the power station with no passenger transport. We would really like to get a passenger transport service up and running for the West Fife villages. We need a rapid and fair transition to a fossil free Scotland. What that means is a planned and fair exit from North Sea oil and gas production and to absolutely say no to new dirty energy sources like frack gas. This transition to a low carbon economy means big changes for workers and communities currently dependent on carbon intensive industries. That means we have to plan now to ensure the transformation is fair. We're lucky here in Scotland, we have an enormous renewable energy potential to tap into and enable our transition away from dirty energy. We know the technologies exist. What we need to do now is get on with the job of delivering a genuine fair transformation to a low carbon economy.